Right, folks, uh, here I have got another uh, Cortec uh, KTM F. This one is uh, a 14 inch, so it's slightly bigger. I shouldn't have this in the way. Uh, it's slightly bigger um, than the other one. So I actually took a chance and decided to power it on. And uh, I do get a picture, which is good news. So the good news is we've got a raster, we got high voltage. We don't have any collapse of any sort, but you can see first it's very blurry. I just can't get a solid, uh, sharp picture on it. The, the colors are off. Uh, you can see the uh, uh, alignment there with the blue is uh, way off. Um, and I need to play a bit more with this, uh, this adjustment rings here. But first things first, I need to recap this entire monitor because we're getting all sort of uh, just wackiness going on. Um, if I try to adjust some of the sharpness and some of the, uh, it's really at the limit here of the adjustment I can do. Uh, let me just see which one, which one was it? Yeah. You can hear that. So that's not great. Um, I should be able to reduce the uh, sharpness and, and brightness and things like that. And then same with the, uh, a lot of the, um, other settings. Uh, I can't remember which one. Anyway, so we just need to do, for, well, first a full recap on this guy again. Uh, I think I have enough caps here. And then uh, we're just gonna see if we can get a, a clear picture with this and hopefully we'll be sorted with this monitor. It might be a, a lot easier than I uh, thought it would be. Uh, the other thing I've done is I've actually changed the tube. Uh, this is a tube from a TV. Uh, it has a small scratch here, but other than that, it's actually just, uh, fine there's no burn on it let me uh, let me go and show you what the old tube was and uh, let's turn this off first here uh, this was the old tube it's one of those uh, thicker type of tubes um, some of those uh, monitors use different types of uh, so this is a, a 10 inch one of the same model this is a KTMF or it's a KTM uh, a more modern version of that uh, same chassis but as you can see, the uh, the tube here don't match. The uh, the pinouts on the tubes don't match. There's way more of these here. So it's and it's these are uh, just thicker and wider. So uh, I actually got this uh, this TV here it was a Philips. It's an L6 chassis from a Philips monitor and didn't suit. It didn't fit, um, which is okay because I got to use it for something else. Uh, and this is the. Uh, this was the the coil that came with it. But you can see this coil here is much wider because the tube itself uh, was much wider. So I was able to use the same coil, same impedance, um, and it's working just fine as you can see. The other thing though was, uh, let me just be very careful with this, but it was a uh, quite, uh, you probably can't see it with the reflection. Maybe if I stand in front, you can see the burn was pretty, extensive uh here as well on this one so uh luckily luckily i do have a stock of just uh, uh tvs 14 inch and bigger uh tvs monitors up here that i can use uh, whenever i need uh, see all these here uh, oh yeah this was the philips tube here you can see that the neck is much thinner, but I have all these uh, tubes that I can use on all these chassis and monitors. Anyway, let's go back and do a recap on this guy. All right, so I got this guy recapped uh, completely. And uh, there was a couple of uh, unpleasant finds on it. And one of them was a, a, a cap that was uh, completely, the two legs were gone, or one leg, sorry, was gone. The other one just uh, went when I lifted it off. And uh, I'm, I'm not even sure it was uh, I think it was this guy here uh, So I'm not, I'm not sure how the whole thing worked, but uh, so there was this uh, to recap the entire um, uh, cap section and then uh, When I went to check just did a, a manual check uh, there was a couple of uh, of Just cold uh, solder joints uh, on this on this guy. So I just uh, reflowed all the uh, all the connectors and then the horizontal coil, which is this guy here, literally uh, fell apart. I thought it was loose, so I just checked uh, the back for uh, <laughs> for loose, uh, just uh, whatever loose uh, loose connection. And uh, 
it still fell loose and essentially it was just this part that fell loose. Long story short, this thing just had obviously melted and uh, or, or or just burnt and uh, completely just uh, sort of gone. Sorry, my dirty fingers here. Completely sort of gone. And uh, so I, I luckily I have a spare board here uh, that's for a 10 inch uh, monitor. Uh, it's the same, it's the spare one I had from that other repair. So I'm glad I kept that and uh, uh, oh and also also there was one uh, this guy here right here this uh, transistor here right here under my finger uh, they used the wrong one whoever repaired because this had been repaired before and they um, they just moved the legs you know to uh, to match the collector emitter emitter base and that kind of stuff uh, and fitted a new one, but it's just the wrong specs. And even when I checked the data sheet, I was like, well, maybe the, the voltages, you know, cross em emitter, collector, and base, and all that kind of stuff match. They don't really. Uh, I know you can do that to some extent, but, you know, uh, with something as critical as a monitor, you want something with just the right specs, exactly what's in the schematic. So I, 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 uh, I pulled one from, uh, from this guy here, this one, and uh, I pulled the coil from this guy, and uh well look at that we got a working monitor much better than uh, what it was and what it looked like it does need still uh, some adjustment oh yeah and i forgot uh the uh, ring on this guy was gone so i just put in a a new one a spare one i had and i did some minor adjustments uh, it was a uh, it was a bit of a struggle just to get it uh, even to display like that. I think the flyback is probably going on this because that's the uh, maximum sharpness. And that's really as, uh, well, or that's the, the optimal sharpness and it's really as as crisp as I can get it. So I don't have, I'll have to have a look, I don't think I have a spare, um, a spare uh, flyback. This is what, you know, will define that. I was going to change that. Uh, here is a different flyback for, for that 10 inch. A monitor so I can't use that and uh, so yeah there you go that's uh, I, I, I'm gonna consider this uh, a repair and a success because it's, this monitor is still usable it can be put in the cab and uh, and if I find a flyback I'll, I'll replace that other than that I think it's working there's one interesting thing in this model uh, this is the Cortec KTM F KTF M KTM F 10 inch, this is 14 inch, slightly different revision, but similar schematic, similar uh, model. Uh, so they took the uh, the um, uh, transistor or whatever it is, MOSFET, I think it's a transistor type yoke, and they put it here, they mounted it on on this uh, giant heatsink. Here, they didn't do that, it's on this uh, small heatsink. I'm gonna try not to touch it because it creates so much heat, and this is why I'd say the, uh, the coil Got some of that heat and started burning off so the one thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna move i'm gonna do something similar i'm gonna actually take the uh what's uh, what's happening here and just uh, put a socket down there and just move the uh, transistor over to uh, to this side to this big heat sink so that heat is away from other com uh, components and uh, being dissipated a lot better um, but yeah, there you go. I think I'll do that, you know, after uh, after the video, um, because right now, I think I just wanted it to start running and to uh, to display a, a somewhat um, adjusted picture, and I think we did that. Um, so new flyback if I find one, and I'm going to move that uh, transistor uh, to the uh, b the bigger heatsink. But anyway, that's it for me, folks. Um, this was a quick one again. I hope this was interesting. Thank you for watching and see you next time.